I used to just write more out of um, expression and frustration and emotion when I was sad or annoyed or angry. Um, and then over time, as I started actually releasing music around 16, 17 onwards, I'd write all the time also on public transport. Any opportunity I got on the bus, on my college, on the train, I'd always just be writing because the visual stimulation around me, so much going on, it just fed into it perfectly and it always just felt like the right place to be doing it. And that's developed now into something where I'm also will run around and wear myself out for a few weeks, trying to live some life and then I'll get in the studio for a couple of days and I'll just let it all out at once. It's always been there. As much as I was someone who grew up listening to a lot of rap-focused music, I was also hearing other things in the house. Like my mum, she was a punk when she was younger and the stuff that she was listening to, it was the stuff that I was already familiar with. But no one around me had ever picked up a guitar and made a type of song in that way, so I just didn't know where to start. And as soon as I found someone, Big Up Jacob Romanson, as soon as I screamed at the mic, like I was in a football stadium once, it all just clicked and then we're like, bosh, we just started knocking them out. And that section of me was waiting to get awakened, man. And it ties in with everything else I've done before, but it's just a whole other part, which I'm, yeah, I've been so excited to finally like, give to people. Yeah,